A significant part of access is the planning stage. You're designing all these tables for data entry. For example, we would have to list the inventory of our elves. And we have that happen to be in a spreadsheet, which I will show you. We have the stuff all typed here. You can append it, that is, import, which we did before. Or you can literally take this thing into a database. We have to do a couple of tweaks, but it's very easy. You could have hundreds of thousands of reindeer because they have to cover a lot of territory. You have to have the file closed out. So what we're going to do, we go on external data, new data source from file, Excel. We're going to browse. We're going to find the reindeer file. We're going to import this into a new data table. I'm going to say OK. You're going to get this. The wizard's going to say valid field names. I'm going to say OK. Reindeer, nose, date, born, elf. Those are the column headings. If you don't want them, that would become a field. Uh, I'm just going to say OK. I'm going to go to the next step. And when you're doing this, a lot of times you just follow your instincts. We're going to leave this all alone here. Like if I go into date born here, I could say change this over here to something, another type of thing here. But what I want to do when I'm in the elf one here, it says double. What I want to do here, typically it makes things a long integer. Otherwise, it's a data mismatch. And actually, I'm going to leave it this way here. You're going to see something next. And then I don't need a primary key, okay? That's like a social security number or something for the um, critters. But I'm just going to say no primary key. Not required, but always a good idea. Next. And it's going to go to a table called reindeer. And close. So if we open this up, we've got the reindeer. They're all showing up with their noses, everything here. A few simple things here. So I'm going to close this out because I'm creating a relationship. Database tools, relationships. We did this before between the elf and the Santa. I'm going to add the reindeer here. I'm going to drag down the elf because one elf might have many critters. So I do this, say create, same number of fields. It's not the same data types. I'm going to show this in a second here. I'm going to hit the cancel. I can leave this open, okay? This is one of the few times you can get away with things here. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go on the Home tab. I'm going to just open up Reindeer in the uh, Design View. I right-click here. What it is here, I got this F5 here. I don't want that. I am just going to delete that. And what it is here, the Elf here, it's a number here. But it says here, field size double. I click over here. I'm going to make this long integer because all the other elf numbers are long integers. Incompatibility. I'm going to save this. It's going to say you're going to lose data. We're not going to. I'm going to save this. I have to close out of it now. Now, watch this. I drag elf to here. Check these off. Say create. It's showing the one to many relationship. I'm going to close out of this. If I'm on database tools here, I'm in the relationship here. I'm right here in the design view. Close. Say yes. Next thing here, watch this. I'm going to go into the elf table here. If I hit on the plus here, oops, I can put a data sheet, a sub data sheet here. What it is for the elf, I could add. Reindeer, okay. It shows the reindeer that you're working with. I could go into the minus here, hit the plus here. We've got that in here. So it's showing what each one is working with here. And if I go into reindeer, it's not going to give you the sub thing here because what it is, an elf is responsible for both reindeer and for children. So I'm going to just close this out. I'm not going to save this. I'm going to open this up again. And what it's showing here again, 
I'm going to do another de sub data sheet here. I'm going to add Santa's list here. Link here. Okay. So it's just showing what you have there. It's two different views. It's not going to give you both of them at the same time. So we've got that. I don't need to save the design of that. Next thing I want to show you, let's say you're going to be adding more elves, okay? You might want to create a form to do the um, data entry. You click on elf here, and then I'm going to click on create. I'm going to click on form. It gives it to you automatically. And it shows things here. If I want to add a new one, I click on that little yellow thing there, new blank record here. And then I could go in here. I'm in the design view. Don't do your data entry in here. You're going to be in trouble. If I'm doing this thing here, I could go here. I just want this to stand out. I can make it bold. I could also change the font. I use a control key. I have a bunch of things higher selected. I am just going to click on format. And what I could do here, I can make it a Santa red and I can make it bold. I might want to make it bigger. So we've got that in there. Uh, I'm going to hit the control S to save. It's doing, it says the form name is elf. I have that. It's showing there. I want to do data entry. I go into form view and then I could type in Oscar or oh, the elf number. You can't, if I say number three, you're going to see something in a minute. Fred Now, because I had duplicate NAT values in the index or primary key, I'm going to say OK. I'm going to change this to a 5. I go into the yellow thing here. So now when I look at the table here, I go to the first record. I'm at the very bottom here. It's just showing things here. Page down takes you through this. So we've done data entry. I'm going to close this out. I go into the elf table. We are now seeing Fred who's being hired this autumn.